Right, so Jacinta brought us these little puppies today for vaccination. And uh, look at the color combination. It's amazing, isn't it? Black, chocolate, cream, and we call this one caramel. Four little males at six weeks of age. And uh, this was their first vaccination today. Um, they've also been microchipped and um, preparing for adult life. The critical thing for these little puppies, apart from worming, which we want to do from two weeks of age every couple of weeks, we want to feed them according to nature's recommendations. And nature's recommendations are little birds, little animals, lizards, frogs, that sort of thing, would you believe? We are just now going to see what they do when we present them with, hey gang, see what, what can you do with those? There we are. Come on, it's all a bit awe-inspiring, this environment. Whoa, okay, is that what you're going to do? Right. <laughs> okay, show the folks how it's done. And actually, I don't know if two is going to be enough for these little horde of hungry carnivores. As it happens, only one of these pups, this little black one here, or he's the big black one, he's the only one with his teeth properly cut through. We'll show you these others without teeth yet, without teeth ripping and tearing and showing how it's done. Right, and you can just see that activity of these little pups ripping and tearing and doing their best to get some meat off these bones and also clean their teeth, their emerging teeth, as they come through the, the gums. Now this is a, a vital part of car carnivore biology that is denied to millions, if not billions, of dogs out there, many of which are poodles. How many poodles get to rip and tear at their proper food? Well, I'm telling you, not many, but it's time it changed. And maybe this little gang can pave the way. Isn't it encouraging? Mm. So, pack of hungry carnivores. And look, Okay, here we are now. We're here in um, Blythe Park, New South Wales, Australia, and it's a, a, an ordinary Monday, uh, but not so ordinary for these little animals here. And hopefully we can convey this message to a wider audience out there. Yeah. Okay. So, at every meal. Now, because these are so young and because their teeth haven't fully cut through, then, in fact, in order to get enough nutrients into them, these quail are going to have to be put through the grinder. Um, so when Jacinta gets home, I'm going to suggest she cracks up the grinder and makes a paste and feeds them that so that at least they can get some good food into their bellies. But they want to spend plenty of time ripping and tearing and fighting over the prey if they can. All right. Bearing in mind, this is the first time ever, first time ever that they've ever smelled, tasted, sensed any of this sort of food. And look how they instinctively know, straight away. No question. Did you hear some crunching there? Right. Okay. And you can. This one. Crunchy. With no teeth, crunching the bones. <laughs> <laughs> look, turning on the side, massaging the gums, stimulating the brain chemicals, feeling really good about it. Good, well done, young man. That's it, you did good. <laughs> Look, that's great. Okay, all that fussing and really ripping in and learning. And of course, working together as a pack, they're gonna learn from each other. And, they, and they're gonna encourage each other. And that's as it should be. Not these poor little puppies that are kept in solitary confinement and otherwise poisoned every day of their lives with the slurps out of the can and the doom nuggets out of the packet. Instead, this is what they need to be ripping and tearing and chewing. I'm glad that they put on such a marvellous show. No rehearsal. Let me assure you, there was no rehearsal here. They just performed like absolute stars right from the get-go. They took to the stage and showed folks how it should be done. So congrats. Well done. One, two, three, four little poodle puppies. Thank you.